how did I end up like this? Close and personal with the asphalt, broken nose, my pride in tatters. I wasn't always like this. I was Ticket Jackson, Parking Enforcement. And everything was going great until that fateful day I met Councilman Booz Fogelman. Officer Catapang, today is a great day to be partners. What are you talking about? We're not partners. We're meter maids. My name's Tia, not Officer Catapang. You're in the room, Jackson. Oh, ho, 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 Mr. 1985 Cadillac Eldorado. We you... meet again. What are you doing? I'm giving him a ticket. He's parked legally. Look at that, he's one inch into the red. Give him an inch, they take an hour. <laughs> hey, hey. What do you think you're doing? I'm giving you a ticket, sir. That's what I'm doing. You know what you can do with this ticket? It's indestructible, like the law behind it. Relax, do you know who he is? Yeah. Do you know who I am? I'm the guy that signs your paychecks. Well, nobody's above the law. When it comes to parking in this city, I am the law. Are you crazy? <laughs> You know, you just assaulted an officer. You saw that? Is that right? Yeah. Meet a maid? Listen, we really like you, but there's a serious problem when you go beating up city officials. Don't touch my stapler. The guy was clearly parked in a red zone. A red zone. You know, and maybe that doesn't mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to me, okay? I'll tell you what it is. It's all those pounds you've been putting on behind the desk here in the office. You have no idea what's going on in the real street. The cops out there live in the real world. Cops? What cops? How, how dare you authorize my right to work and then question the very means in which I choose to do it? Yeah. You know, we live in a city with zones and, and lines. And blue, white, red, yellow, magenta. Pink, there are no magenta lines. Whatever. Are you going to enforce those? Are you going to... Stuff yourself back into a uniform and enforce those laws, Chief Ferguson. What are you talking about? I'm not a chief. I'm just a meter maid supervisor. No, no, no. No meter maid. Parking enforcement officer. I mean, have some respect. You're a woman. Oh, please. It's time for you to go. Come on. Come on. All right. I imagine you want my badge and my gun. Thank you for being so understanding. Wait, did you just say badge and gun? No, 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 no. I said thanks for the batch of fun. <laughs> but we'll be needing your hat. Thank you. I had no job, nowhere to go. But I still have my love for the law. Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Clean, this is city property you're vandalizing. Do you know how much money the city spends maintaining those? Guess. Guess how much? I can't wait. A million. Ten million. Guess. Give me those. Give me those. Give me those. That's what you get for messing with Dean Nightingale, singer. Deface like a parking meter. I hit rock bottom. Get yourself a coffee, man. Parking scam rock city? Oh, man. I had been played like a ten cent fiddle. That bastard had turned me against the same citizens I was sworn to protect. Chief Ferguson. What's this? 
An innocent man stumbling towards his expired meter? I have the power to stop this tyranny. <laughs> you may be back on the street, but you're not alone. I'm just going to lunch. You, son, you and your kind have been saved from yet again another tyrannical act from the Department of Parking and Traffic. As God is my witness, no parking meter will ever go hungry again! Oh yeah, he's gonna make it happen Protect your car with a smile on his face He's on every driver's side He'll never let you